What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making a chicken barley soup today. Barley is one of those grains that you don't see that often being used in recipes anymore, but it's really delicious. It's got a complex nutty flavor. It's not considered uh, gluten. It doesn't have the gluten protein like wheat. So if you have problems with eating gluten, this is a grain that you could use in some of your recipes. It makes a really delicious soup. We're gonna use it today with some chicken and some fresh vegetables and herbs. It's gonna be totally delicious, so let's get right to it. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients real quick. I have here two organic free-range chicken breasts that I cubed into about one inch pieces. I have 132 grams of barley, and the reason why I have 132 grams is because this is equal to four servings, uh, according to the bag. And those four servings are 100 calories a piece, 25 grams of carbs, and five grams of fiber. Now, usually I don't count calories, but the reason why I tell you guys this is because it's actually 20% um, of the carbs in this grain is fiber. So very, very high fiber content, and that's pretty important because uh, even though you know it's, it's got some carbs in there, the fiber is very, very high. So really, really good from a nutritional standpoint. I'm also using uh, Kerrygold grass-fed butter. I have here about one cup of button mushroom sliced, one half of a red onion uh, diced. I have some herbs from my garden, and what I have here is parsley. I have some marjoram, and I also have uh, some basil. Uh, these are optional, but if you guys got fresh herbs, it will make your soup taste a whole lot better. Plus, you're adding some great uh, phytonutrients and uh, minerals to your recipe. So I also have about a cup of string beans that I cut into about one inch segments and about five or six celery stalks that I cut in cross sections. I'm using Worcestershire sauce to flavor. Also using uh, Cajun seasoning. If you guys don't like heat, you can use seasoned salt instead of the Cajun seasoning. I just like that flavor um, with, uh, with this kind of recipe in my soups. I like a little bit of heat. I also have about a cup and a half of carrots cut into small pieces, about quarter, quarter circles. I have about eight cloves of garlic minced, about a quarter of a bell pepper cut into small pieces. And I have one whole uh, beefsteak tomato that I chopped up into uh, cubes and I'm using a little bit of organic almond milk at the end just to add some extra creaminess uh, This is entirely optional. I just had this in the fridge and it's not really a full cup to drink So I figured I would throw it in there um, It'll actually make the recipe a little bit creamier, but if you guys don't have almond milk uh, You don't have to add this ingredient. So we're gonna get to sauteing our aromatics and our chicken first and uh, Bring you guys over right over to the cooking pot all right, so the first thing that's going to go in our pot is about one tablespoon of grass-fed butter. And this is on high heat right now. Basically, what I want to do is I want to toast my barley first. I'm going to give it some of that buttery, creamy flavor, and it's going to toast it a little bit, just brown it. going to add an other dimension of flavor. And you'll start smelling it once it's getting toasted it will start to brown a little bit and it will create like this nutty aroma and this is such an am amazing grain I don't know why it's not more popular uh, in recipes really really delicious the consistency and the flavor and the nutritional standpoint is great okay so now we're gonna add our garlic in and our onion and stir that in now we're gonna go in with our chicken okay now that we got our chicken just slightly browned on the outside we're gonna go ahead and add our tomato Our veggies and 
All right, so now I'm going to add about three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. About a half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Going to add about three cups of water. And I'm actually going to add one more cup of water because this is going to, a lot of this is going to cook off as the soup cooks. And it's going to reduce a lot. It smells amazing already. Okay, so now we're going to reduce this to medium heat and cover it. And we're going to give it about 30 minutes cook time and come back. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes or so. And everything's looking really good. It smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and add my herbs now. And my almond milk. Looks like it hasn't really swelled up to its full size. It's probably got... You know another few minutes another 10 minutes or so and it should be puffed up completely so I'm gonna go ahead add our herbs now and mix that in Wow the aroma of like the parsley and basil together with like that marjoram is amazing I'm gonna go ahead and add some almond milk now this is just gonna make it a little creamier it's gonna Kind of enhance, make it a little sweeter. Like I said, that barley is actually 20% fiber out of their carbohydrates. It's amazing. One of the problems that people have today is they don't get enough fiber in their diet because all the processed foods have had all the fiber taken out of it. It's a really big problem. For longevity and overall health so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and we'll come back in about 15 to 20 minutes all right so it's been about another 15 to 20 minutes since we checked this so probably about 35 minutes total for the soup and the barley is completely puffed up this is what you want it to look like um, it's really um, increased in size quite a bit so it's ready to um, to serve. I'm going to go ahead and serve this and give it a try. Let you guys know what I think. Okay, so I'm basically going to just top this off with some fresh chives. Just to give it a little bit of that pop of green color. And I'm going to add a little bit of hot sauce to it. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There is my chicken barley and vegetable soup pretty simple to make super nutritious high on fiber high on uh, all kinds of uh, vitamins and minerals from all the veggies we added also good with the protein we added chicken breast so it's a very well balanced very nutritious uh, soup i hope you guys enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends and family to help us continue to grow remember to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, so we're gonna give this soup a try. See what it tastes like. Mm. The barley makes it like, kind of like creamy and thicker, the soup. Thicker than I actually uh, expected it this time. Um, I don't know if it was maybe because I also added the almond milk, but it's like super um, silky and creamy. It's got a nice um, flavor of the herbs in there. I can taste the basil uh, and the tomato combined it almost has like a little bit of a, a pizza sauce flavor but it's also smoky it's really really delicious i really don't know why people don't use this more in recipes you guys if you haven't experimented with barley i highly recommend it whether you do it with a chicken soup or a vegan or beef barley soup it's something that you really must try and experience it's really really delicious